Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper and this is my first video from my playlist series on ICOMS ID51 Alpha Plus D-Star or Digital Handheld Radio. We're fortunate to have a pair of them. We have them set up here on a simplex channel in the lowest power setting, a tenth of a watt, with two Android tablets connected with the data cable and the part number for that is OPC2350LU and I'll put a link down below. And in my previous video, I said these radios are plug and play. They're ready to go for digital communications. And this is why I think they're very applicable for emergency preparedness and preppers in general, because there's so many features in this radio that lend themselves to emergency communications. So in this video, we're going to demonstrate transferring images from one tablet to another tablet using an RF link between these two handhelds. First, we're going to send a technical picture. It's going to be a screenshot of the ICOM IC7200 radio here. And then we'll actually show how we can send a screenshot of a map from this device over to this device. So let's say you had a search and rescue team out in the field and they needed an updated map. So we're going to pull that map in over here, get it prepped, and send it over here. We went to the Google Play Store and downloaded ICOM's application for this, RS-MS1Alpha. And we'll go ahead and open that up. And this is the application opening up now. They're connecting to the units. We're going to go over here and pull up Share Pictures. And we'll do this on this radio here, Share Pictures. Now, I'm going to transmit from here to here. So I'm going to set this to Receive over there. Now, to select the picture, you press and hold here. I'm going to pull from the gallery, but you can actually use the camera as well. We'll select the gallery just once. We have our picture here. It's the display from the ICOM IC7200 HF radio. We're going to crop it so we just get the essential information or set the image size to be a little bit smaller. So we'll just get the operating frequency here as an example. We're going to say done. It's going to prep it, load it up into the application. We're going to set our picture quality to standard 50%, picture size 320 by 240. Now I have these radios configured for the 128 kilobits per second, the fast data. And you can find that information on page 107 in the advanced manual, how to configure these. And we'll go ahead and click OK. We're going to start transmitting. And you'll see this picture start showing up on the other tablet. And we're doing this over two amateur radio handhelds. In this data transmission is your call sign. It's embedded. So you can see my call sign sitting there so you know where the picture is coming from. I'll try to tip this up so you can see it a little better. That's coming in pretty nice. So we got that picture. We can go ahead and save it. Save complete. OK. OK. So now on this radio, I'm going to set this to receive. I'm going to come over here and actually minimize that. I'm going to pull up Google Maps. And I got a map area for community already set up. I'm going to do the screenshot capture. We'll go ahead and close out of Google Maps. We'll bring this back up. We're going to send a picture. I'm going to press and hold here from the gallery. I should have that map there. There we have the map. We'll go ahead and crop it so we can just get exactly what we wanted. Maybe we just want a couple of blocks here. We'll get that circle down here. We'll hit save. We're going to set the quality to standard. We're going to go ahead and go a little bigger here, 640 by 480. Hit OK. And we're going to start transmitting. And now we're getting that map on this side. We'll turn the camera a little bit and tip this up so you can see. And we'll try to zoom in a little bit for you. So this is doing this block by block and you can see the roads are starting to come in now and the street names. This is a powerful tool for emergency preparedness and prepping in general. The ability to send and receive imagery or digital information back and forth and not just be limited to voice communications. We 
get that image coming in. And again, this is a color image. This is high resolution. We're getting a large picture in here. And this is still very efficient. It's coming in quite well. And we're almost done. Let's see if we can tighten it on the map a little bit here. But as you can see, this is a really powerful capability. And I've done similar videos like this a couple years ago with an iPad using slow scan TV. But that just doesn't compare to how the ICOM handles this with the D-Star system. I mean, these are really high quality pictures. And we got a full image here. We got an updated map. And we saved it. We got everything in there. The other radio reports. Transmission completed. The picture's there. I hope you guys enjoyed the first video of the playlist series. These radios have a lot of capability, and I really do think they have a lot of application for emergency preparedness and prepping. In this example, the ability to share pictures and share maps between two handhelds without any supporting infrastructure. This is just peer-to-peer, radio-to-radio. In future videos, we're going to cover the text messaging feature in this tablet. So if the cell system goes down and you have an Android device, you can still text between your devices here if it runs the Android operating system through the handheld radios. And then we're going to cover the GPS functionality. Each radio has a GPS receiver integrated into the radio that works with this device. And then we're going to cover a really cool feature, and that's the offline mapping. You can load community maps onto your device, so if the grid goes down, you don't have access to Google Earth or Google Maps, you can still plot your location on a map. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a video on ICOM's RS-MS1 Alpha application and how you can transfer maps and images between two devices. Thanks for watching, guys.